joined by Erie News Now digital producer Ariana Moyer. Hi. You've got more, uh, something on the light side of things when yes. it comes to trending news. Yes. So you kind of told me about this. I've kind of talked about how artificial intel intelligence is entering the app industry, the yeah. dog toy industry, but now it's entering the beauty industry. <laughs> What next? So apparently AI is making waves in the cosmetic market. Um, it's already a multi-billion dollar business and researchers predict that it's going to continue to experience rapid growth. But people are concerned that they are going to take away jobs from nail technicians as well as um, people who do like eyelashes and stuff like that because there's machines as you're seeing in the video there that will do your nails for you, wow. can put eyelash extensions on for you. But these CEOs of these businesses that are putting products like these out are saying that they don't think that they will replace those jobs just for people who are looking for a quick thing. They don't have time to wait two hours to get their nails done. They just need something quick and simple, essentially. So mm -hmm. we'll see how that kind of plays out. I don't know how I feel about a robot doing my nails personally. I don't know. What do you think? I'll tell you, I like the personal connection. Exactly. And I'll tell you the Talking. place that I go to, they are quick. And, yeah. um, you know, there's something to be said for asking questions, sitting down yeah. and um, having somebody, you know, work with yeah. you. I think for these kind of services, it's okay to take time. It's not like fast food. You don't want your eyelashes thrown on quickly, or at least that's what I would assume. And that's very personal. Yeah, exactly. You know? Exactly. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> of course, um, we're going to be talking about more trending stories on our website. Remember that QR code mm -hmm. at the bottom of your screen. It'll take you right to our website, erienewsnow.com. We'll